first of all, I want to give you your motivation for this week. And this week, it's all about just doing it. Yes, Nike slogan, just do it. No matter what it is, is if it's taking that needed time with your family, if it's getting a job done, if it's starting out and setting up the process for your goal, just do it. Stop procrastinating. Stop waiting to the last minute. Stop waiting for someone to help you and just get it done. Because at the end of the day, someone has to ignite the fire. Someone has to light the match. Why not you? So just do it is your motivation for the week. Write it down. Put a lipstick on your mirror. Whatever you have to do, just do it and get it done. Just like I'm just doing these videos. So again, thank you, Katie. I love you. So, okay, so fitness. So I had a lot of people asking me, they're trying the detox and they're saying, okay, well, what exactly do you do every day? Well, personally, I do a lot. I doubt you would want to do everything I do, but since you asked, I'll tell you, I do yoga. I, I run on the treadmill. I do different um, videos that I really like from Tybo to Insanity to uh, Kathy, to Rodney Yee, and I take multiple different yoga classes. I take um, Pilates classes. I swim, I bike, and I run on the beach and do plyometric training right now. So, for me, I like to mix it up and keep it fun. I haven't always trained like this, and I also play basketball now. So I'm doing a lot of things to stay fit right now, but on my most basic days, what I try to do is make sure I get 10 minutes and usually it's either on the treadmill if I'm indoor if I'm outdoor it's just running so just a simple thing like that is really good if you really really dread running then try the elliptical you know and just start out with 10 minutes and work your way up to 30 minutes if you don't like that either let's say you don't have a gym just a simple thing as jumping in place or doing high knee lifts as you're watching TV that's your exercise for the day. That counts. You know, sitting and doing breath work, just inhale and exhale, that counts. So on your simplest day, doing breath work is enough. And on your most active day, you can jump, you can run, you can do any part metrics. I have lots of videos on Fitness Food and Fun TV that you can check out and do some of my workouts. But the thing is, whether it's dancing, hula hoop, whatever it is, you want to be active for 10 to 30 minutes every day. So you find out your favorite mode of fitness, make you a calendar, write it down, and keep up with it. Again, just do it. Don't worry about if you're doing my type of fitness or your cousin's type of fitness or your brother's type of fitness. Do your own type of fitness. Find out what you like best. And if you like to switch it up, switch it up. I definitely recommend doing different varieties to see what works with your body the best. So food tip of the day. A lot of people are asking me, well, what do you eat at different times of the day? One of my favorite meals is the dirty kale, and I definitely have videos of the dirty kale up. It's a mixture of kale, I massage in avocado, lemon juice, a little bit of Bragg's, and I put hemp seeds on top. I eat that every single day. Bananas. I love eating bananas throughout the day. People who know me know I have bananas and oranges and apples in my car, in my house, all over the place. Whenever I'm hungry, I don't grab a bag of chips. I don't grab, you know, well, maybe occasionally I grab a bag of chips, but not all the time. And if I do, it's just like potatoes and salt and oil and that's it. So, but very rarely. Um, but I grab an apple or orange or banana and that's that's what I eat when I'm snacking them on a run. I make the dirty kale for a meal and in the morning, before and after my workout, I make a smoothie. It's like 8 to 16 ounces of water, two bananas, a cup of your favorite berries, mine are blueberries, strawberries or cherries, and then I put a little pea protein in and sometimes I put a little maca, a little MSM, whatever I need for the day. But that's my basic smoothie that I have every single day, um, most days, and I usually have that before and after my workout. So if you get the dirty kale in or just a big nice green salad, once or twice a day you're doing great. If you eat fruits for snacks, and also you can have like baby carrots or celery sticks for snacks, you're doing great. And if you have a shake in the morning, and if you have the midnight munchies, have a shake at night, it's okay. Put a couple extra bananas in it, Freeze your bananas and you make a nice little ice cream. It's a perfect nightcap without having an ice cream full of preservatives, butter, and sugar, and all that junk. 
so so that's the food tip of the day and fun get out and have some fun we all work hard you know things in the comedy will always change but at the end of the day you always have to have fun because you never know when it's going to be your last day to go to the beach the last day to go to the park the last day to spend with your family before you're locked in heavy rain heavy snow you never know so if you have a day we need to take 30 minutes to an hour just relax go for a walk you know give your friend a massage like do something that's really relaxing and fun and if you're a party person like me go out to a party have a house party sing karaoke you name it just do it whatever you really like and at least do something fun at least once a week I try to do something fun every single day whether it's going to the jacuzzi or hanging over a friend's house or playing cards or whatever it is because you work hard you have to play hard so remember that and I will um, did I forget something? Subscribe to my website and sign up for my newsletter and put in your email and make sure you add me on your email list so you can get my wonderful newsletters and if you have any questions that you want to ask me, you want me to feature in my videos, just write me a little email and I'll do the best I can.